Sonny Donnelly, IFL TV in association with MGM Marbella. Today I'm going to be spending the day with matchroom prospect Lucian Reed. Lucian, tell the camera, well, tell the viewers a little bit about yourself and what we're going to be doing today. Um, basically I signed with matchroom six months ago, roughly I've had two fights for them, two wins, one knockout. Um, today we're going to be doing track, which is hard, as you know Peter the Punisher is going to be killing me. Uh, Dino and uh, Tony Conquest. They're both doing it, they've both got big fights coming up, but we've got track and then we're going to go to the gym afterwards and then smash the gym. So you just turned 22 like a few days ago. Yesterday. Re reasonably quite young for a <coughs> professional boxer. Yep. What made you turn over so young? Um, I was on the England setup. I was boxing for England quite regularly and I went for trials to get onto Great Britain to box internationally for like the Olympics to try to qualify. Um, I had like, over 10 trials. That nonsense that kept bringing me back. I felt like a spine pot now um, after a while. And I just said to him, and I said to him, when I didn't get in, I said to him, you know what, I can't do this no more. I have to um, make money. I've been boxing 11 years. I've got a little boy, I need to make money. So I thought to myself, you know what, I need to turn over the love of the sport. I just thought I wanted to um, turn pro. I've always wanted to turn pro as well. Apart from England and obviously the Great Britain, who did you box for as a well, club wise? Um, I boxed for Repton for five years, and then for six years, I boxed for West Ham ABC. What, what did you achieve doing there? Uh, Repton, I got to a few finals, lost um, by like one point on, on two of them. And then for West Ham, I won the senior ABA title in 2013. 2014, I, I got to the finals and boxed um, Kez from Great Britain, uh, who's the number one boy on there at the moment, and lost on a close, uh, close fight. So, yeah, I, I achieved well as an amateur, but... Was, I, I, was I, that I, the last fight you had as an amateur? last fight I had was an amateur, was um, against uh, Germany for England. Okay. And did you win it? Yeah, of course. Oh, so, uh, usually, mo no, because I'm saying that because a lot of people lose a, a, like a amateur fight and they think, oh, I might as well go pro and, now. Yeah, I wasn't, I don't know, I couldn't lose and then turn pro, if I'm honest. Is, why not? It's just not, it's not about, that's not what I'm about. I, I like to win, I have finishing to win. Finishing on a high. I finish on a high, that's it. Finish on a high as an amateur and then starting on a high as a professional t uh, signing with matchroom. And obviously for people that don't know him as Peter the Punisher, your trainer is Peter Sims. Yep. And you train down Hainel. How many days a week do you train? Uh, five days. Five days uh, with Pete and then we do a extra day of running or strength conditioning by ourselves on a weekend. So six days training but five days with Pete. And have you got a date yet for when you're next going to be out? Have I you got a target yet? I haven't got a date. Hopefully I'm on my way to see Pete now and hopefully he's got a date for me. But I don't know. I've, it's looking around December so... I'm, I've, I've been in training since my last fight, which was September the 12th, so I'm, I haven't stopped training. I've got six rounds coming up, so I'm gonna, I'll be fit, I'll be really, really fit. Alright then, mate, well, we're just coming up to the track now, so I'm gonna film you doing a bit of track work and then I'll get you again when we're on our way to the gym, alright? Yeah, cool. Top, mate. 